And there was a guy that said, uh, well, the girls respond positively to you because you've been with hundreds of girls and they respond negatively to me because I'm a virgin. And I said, dude, there's no post-it note on your forehead the advertising your lay count. They don't know that I've been with over a thousand girls. Or at that time, it was like 300 something. Uh, they don't know how many girls I've been with and they don't know that you've been with zero. If I roll in weak and unsure of myself, they're going to respond negatively. It's not like I get automatic great reactions just because I've been with a lot of girls. Okay. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about how to stop handicapping yourself. I've been coaching this stuff for over a decade now, and this comes in all shapes and sizes, but most guys are their own worst enemy, okay? Apart from all the coaches scamming you, which is the vast majority of the industry, both in the pickup world and in the red pill community, um, and these other various communities, and apart from the fact that there's no good practical optimized system out there that optimizes things to an extreme level, anywhere close to mine, Okay, the other biggest enemy that you are facing is yourself. Okay, I'm going to go into the different shapes and sizes that this manifests itself and how you can fix this today. But before we continue, I am doing my last week of calls next week where I take the intro calls. It's a free 30 minute call. You can jump on uh, with the link in the description. You'll speak with me personally. I'll tell you how I can get you extremely advanced very quickly. Okay, how I can start getting you five to 10 dates a week by the second week of working together. How I can get you one to two new closes per week, one to two new girls that you're having sex with uh, very fast as well within a matter of a short couple of weeks. Okay, and also putting one new rotation girl on per week, which means a new regular that you're seeing in parallel with the other regulars. Okay, so do not delay the last week is going to be next week for taking those calls. Jump on that free 30 minute call with me where you can speak to me about how I can optimize your game. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and you'll be notified of new videos every single day. Press the notification bell to receive those notifications. So these are the different forms I hear this in. Okay, I'll get a client that's in his 40s or 50s or I'm, I'm too old to get girls. Okay, I'm too old to get the young hot girls. I'll get a client that's maybe Asian or Indian. Oh, I'm in, I'm in the US and I'm Asian or I'm Indian so they don't like me. Okay, They're, or I have a disadvantage there so I can't get girls from Asian or Indian. Or a guy is short, so he says, oh, I can't get the girls because I'm too short. Or his hairline is receding. Oh, uh, uh, the girls just don't like me because of my hairline. And every interaction that they go into, they think that the girl is picking up on their hairline and they're getting rejected because of their hairline. Okay? Other guys have an insecurity based on the fact that they haven't been with many girls or they haven't had much success in the past. Okay? And so they think, oh, I haven't gotten girls in the past, therefore I can't get girls in the future. Girls just don't like me. And on and on and on and on and on. Guys blame their city. Oh, if only I were in a different city, I'd be able to get laid. Okay? Or they, or they, they blame whatever they can. Okay? Now, I'm not a coach that says um, that's, that sexual market value doesn't matter, that looks don't, don't matter, and this and that. Okay? Of course they matter. Okay? However, these different rationalizations and justifications for getting negative reactions or for getting poor results are really just going to handicap the person. Okay, None of those are of a good mindset to bring forth into an interaction. Every, all your mindsets are going to power your verbals and your body language, and that's going to be having insidious effects if you have a negative view of yourself. Okay, I've, I've said in a lot of past videos that if you were to walk into a car dealership and the, the car dealer, the car salesman, said, hey, I have this car over here, and the parts are all broken, and the windows are busted out, and it's a piece of shit, it's all rusting. Hey, would you like to buy this car? Okay, the person's gonna be like, uh, are you kidding? That is exactly what you're presenting when you bring forth a handicapped version of yourself into the interaction when you're talking to the girl, okay? So you need to view yourself as the prize, you need to view yourself as a shiny new Lamborghini, okay? Now, for the short guys, for instance, are there gonna be girls that are not interested because you're not their height or taller? Yes, of course. Are there going to be people that, you know, are there going to be girls that are 18 or 19 that think a 45 or 50 year old is, is too old? Yes. And so on and so forth for these other things. But it's not going to be a significant factor. Okay, I can't stress that enough. It's not going to be a significant factor. If you're an older guy and you run into a girl that thinks you're too old, who gives a flying fuck? Okay, is the point. There's plenty of others that aren't going to give a shit. There's plenty of 18, 19 year olds that are going to appreciate the fact that you're in your 40s and 50s and that you're not immature 
and and living with mommy and daddy and, and this and that, okay, and broke and, and all these other things that come with guys their age, okay? So you need to stop letting these things handicap you. Yes, some of them will play a factor, but not any kind of significant factor. And even if they're they're playing a factor um, that, that's influencing things, you can't control, in a lot of cases, you can't control your height, you can't control your ethnicity, et cetera, et cetera. So don't let that further handicap you and then bring that negative shit into the interaction. There's plenty of clients that I've had that are traditionally, you know, like at a disadvantage for whatever reason. And I've still gotten a lot of them into the multi hundred lay count. Okay. So let me tell a story. When I was teaching a, a boot camp in Las Vegas, I had a client, this was back in like 2014, maybe. And I think I was at like 300 something lay count. And there was a guy that said, uh, well, the girls respond positively to you because you've been with hundreds of girls and they respond negatively to me because I'm a virgin. And I said, dude, there's no post-it note on your forehead the advertising your lay count. They don't know that I've been with over a thousand girls or at that time it was like 300 something. Uh, they don't know how many girls I've been with and they don't know that you've been with zero. If I roll in weak and unsure of myself, they're going to respond negatively. It's not like I get automatic great reactions just because I've been with a lot of girls. Okay. But having been a lot of girls further reinforces the mindset that I'm the man, that I can do this, that I can get girls like that, that it's not a big deal, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that will come as you guys get results as well. However, in the beginning, you, you still need to bring in that mindset because he, that virgin guy, if he rolls up like the man, girls are going to respond positively to that. Okay. And he ended up getting, once that kind of switch clicked for him, uh, he ended up going and getting a make out and a pull. I mean, my old business partner were joking around that he's like the coolest virgin in the club. So it's really as simple as getting rid of these fucking negative attitudes that are handicapping you. And, and the narrative goes, I think I can't get girls because of factors X and Y. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll give it a try anyways, but it's probably not going to work. Uh, hello, blah, 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 waiting for the rejection, waiting for the rejection. Okay, here's a rejection. Reinforce your belief about yourself, attribute it to that factor, and then further ingrain that belief, further lose hope, etc. It becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Okay. I've had client, you know, as I said, it comes in all shapes and sizes, but as the client gets negative reactions or, re or rejections, they think, oh, it's just because of that factor. Or even when they're in running the cold approach, they think, oh, well, the girl just doesn't like me because of that thing that I was worried about about myself. See, look, she didn't like me. There it is. Okay. That's incredibly unproductive and counterproductive. Okay. Instead, you need to think that you're the man, you're the shit, you can get whatever girl you want. And then the girls are going to respond positively to that. Okay. So you need to get rid of these, these beliefs about yourself that are negative. You need to embrace this idea that you do have value, that you are enough, that you are cool, that you can get these girls. Okay. And even if you haven't gotten any girls yet, or you haven't gotten the high quality ones yet, know that it is just right around the corner. Once you receive proper training. Okay. The eight week mentorship program that I'm running, I'm taking guys of all skill levels from all around the world and getting them very consistently, extremely good very, very quickly. Okay. By week two, most guys have their calendars flooded, their schedules flooded with dates. Okay. And these, a lot of these guys never had dates before they had very uh, minimal amounts of dates. But what I'm trying to get to in this video here, and by the way, for those of you interested in that, the last week of getting on a call with me about that is, is going to be next week. So you can jump on a free 30 minute call to discuss that. But what I'm trying to hammer home to you guys is that you need to First of all, for those of you watching, look at what it is that you're handicapping yourself about. What negative beliefs do you have about yourself that are going to, you know, in a, in a very probabilistic way, have an insidious effect on your verbals, on your body language, how you carry yourself, and what you believe you're able to accomplish in the game. Okay. Second of all, look at the different things of value that you bring to the table. Look at your skills. Look at the cool experiences you've had. Look at your interests and your hobbies and different things you're capable of or that you already have done in the past. A lot of you have a really cool shit you've done and really cool shit you're currently doing and that you're going to do. Okay. Just because you have this one limiting belief by yourself or just because you have this one uh, hang up and handicap doesn't mean that you don't offer a shitload of value. Okay. Nobody's perfect. Nobody, you know, that's why I really am against these like black pill and looks maxing movements because it's just a bunch of guys insulting each other about their jaw lines and not looking like a chad and, and blah, blah 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 and it's extremely counterproductive because it further reinforces negative mindsets that the guys have to begin with they come in oh i don't think i'm that good looking okay now i'm going to join a forum where i have like 50 people telling me that i'm not that good looking and what do you think that's going to do to the guy's confidence and what do you think that's going to do 
when the guy goes and tries to do a cold approach. Okay, do you think it's going to go well? This guy that thinks he's like incredibly inferior and not good enough for the girl, he sees himself as down here and in the, he sees the girl way up here. And if only he could be reborn as a chat, everything would be okay. Okay, well, let me tell you this. I get lots of good looking, tall, even jacked clients, a lot of them even in single digit lay count. Okay, we're not innately born with how to properly text, with how to properly run your date, with how to properly do the clothes, with how to properly structure your cold approach interactions and build your online profile and do your online game messaging and move all the different things through the process. Okay, this is a skill game. This is a strategy game that makes up the vast majority of the equation. Your sexual market value, you should optimize what you can control. And it's mostly the icing on the cake. And it's also mostly a threshold thing. Okay, unless you're like a midget or unless you're uh, deformed from a car crash or you're, you're uh, significantly obese or, or rail thin or, or things like this, those things aren't going to play nearly as much of a factor as you think. Okay, and I, I have tons of counterexamples for any of you that are doubting in all the different various classical, oh, well, I'm this, so I can't get results. Get those mindsets out of your head. Stop fucking limiting yourself and handicapping yourself. Stop presenting the busted car with the windows busted out and the rust and all this shit. Man the fuck up. Learn proper strategy and actually get the results you deserve instead of making excuses for years and, you know, complaining and, oh, if only this and only that. Okay, you can't control most of those things and they don't play nearly as big of a factor as you think. There's plenty of girls that will like you for you, exactly how you are. Okay, and you need proper game to get into the situations where you meet those girls and then you need proper game to properly navigate it successfully to a close and then be able to keep the ones around that you want to retain. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you want to master the entire game and if you want to talk to me personally on a free 30 minute call about how I can optimize your system for you in a very painless and very quick and effective way so that you can start having this problem fixed on a, on a very serious level, okay, within a week or two, uh, within a, the time of a week or two, okay? Jump on that free 30-minute call with me. Speak to me before I, I transition off the phones and, and have other people taking those calls for me. And also, if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, okay? Fat can of assholes checking out. Thank you guys so much. For <laughs> That's a reference to Richard Cooper, who's recently left the manosphere and, and tried to throw shade on me despite me having infinitely more proof of skill and results than him or any of the red pill guys. Actually, more than all of them combined, okay, by far. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.